Welcome back my admirals of YouTube, this is NA2 right here. As you can see I have a new set, I have finally moved in somewhere for college, and I am loving my new location. Following up on last time's events, I have successfully completed the World of Warships event, Grab the Torch. So let's go find the flag. As you can see, I have the new World Champion flag. Now let's mount it and take a look. Well, it looks nice, but it, there are no strategic advantages besides looking cool in front of your enemies, so I think I'll just switch back to the American flag, which I earned bonuses, as you can see. About my content collection endeavor, I've successfully completed E2, so I have 10 days to try and make it through E3 and E4, which I probably will do on easy just so I can earn the inventionship, the War Spite. I am going to get the first British battleship of content collection, that'll be nice. Speaking of the Royal Navy, you probably also noticed that World of Warships has decided to release their British cruiser line. Well, a preview of it online. So check their main website or look at this video and this image as you can see that they have already developed their tier 1 through tier 10 ships of cruisers. They have also released the German tier 3 to tier 10 battleships. So if you look through the tech tree, you can find that there's a list of ships. I've seen the use of the Nasu used so heavily during game that honestly, people are just trying to fast track this and go through the line of the German ships, so good luck to you all for attempting to do that, huh? Now the German battleships were only released in this update 0.5.10, which I think one of the most notable ones are the German battleships, of course. The decision that for tier 1 ships, rather than having separate high explosive and armor piercing bullets, you have practice shells, which basically the same thing as high explosive shells. But it focuses more on the idea that you can only use one type of shell just so no one gets too confused on what kind of shell you use especially if it's your first time playing with a low tier ship. It also looks like damage is cut in half, so novice players will be able to last twice as long in battle and get more experience and figure out how the game works. There's also the secondary battery mechanic, which they have decided to make it so secondary armaments cannot hurt your allies, which is finally great, so I can show something in this video. Another addition to this update is that they decided to add a colorblind mode, so if you go into settings, and I believe graphics, yeah, you can put a colorblind filter, thus making it easier for certain people to view the screen more easily, which I think is very nice and helpful. There are also many other smaller updates, but it's probably better if you look it up and check the updates online. For now, I'm just going over the most notable ones that I think are more interesting. Now onto the gameplay. Personally, I'm not entirely all ecstatic on trying the um, German blind of battleships because I only have one ship slot left, which is not really that fun. I'm considering waiting for the British Royal Navy line and see how that turns out, but it would be bad to just keep out of the pit line and be hit with the kids. So might as well give the German line a shot, I guess. To be able to get this ship, I'm going to need to reuse the Kohlberg and try to re-level that up and get more XP from that. So I guess uh, what to do. Before I had like full elite status, but now I don't, it's sort of not fair, I feel offended. Guess I'll make this video two battles. First I want to demonstrate something about the Mikasa. Now you may be questioning why I still have this, but it is a nice ship. More importantly for the secondary armaments. Now what I want to test out is, well the secondary armaments. So let's go into co-op battle and enter battle, and I will show you what. It feels just great about the Mikasa, which I am so sorry that I am poning on noobs in the co-op battles, but I just experimented with this during the event. And my opponents are these ships. You. Let's get it started. Action stations. Yes, action stations indeed. Let's get this show on the road. Now what I'm not... I'm not focused on the primary armaments, I'm focused on the secondary armaments. As you saw in the update, they are, the secondary armaments no longer damage allies, which I'm using to the advantage and showing what I mean in this video that this ship is now cool. And well, battleships in general, if you go into call battle or you ram near an enemy, is just really cool. If their accuracy is good. For the hang of it, I'm just going to go into section B and approach the enemy closely. While also, well, I can't waste any good shots, so I might as well start aiming at any viable targets. The only one being the Strathalls, and 
Oops, sorry, I cannot pronounce ships. My ultimate apologies. But we will see what I mean if I can get close enough to shit a ship. Is in sight. I might as well get close enough. Not very close to the ship, so I am now firing my signal armaments. They call this a gunship for a reason, and I like how beautiful that. I'm pretty much ramming my opponent with signal armaments. And because my allies do not get targeted, it feels ultimately awesome just to be near them. Now let's see if I get another shot. Yes, so will I get a kill from this? Yes, and because of my signal armaments, I have successfully sunk an enemy. And I shall now seek them on him if... Oh. Oh no. Turning now, hurry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, uh, that was my bad. That was partially my bad for not paying attention to that. But for now, I will unleash my signal armaments on the St. Louis. I am doing nicely. This is indeed beautiful and all. You have to be sick on everyone. The ship is on fire. Come on, aim and sink hook line and sinker. Like I suck a ship. So, well, I, I only destroyed one ship, that's not cool. But the crash. They aim at me, I am sort of screwed. So I'll do whatever I can to release my signal armaments on this ship. Basically, what I'm getting at is that. Signal armaments now rule. Get up and close to your enemies now, and you can probably waste them as long as not destroys and the unleash of torpedoes at you. And your accuracy for your signal armaments are hopefully very high. No, don't get in the way. And a successful hit from a close range shot. Pretty close range. Range. They're too far away from me to actually do any effective damage, so let's hope I can get close enough. Oh, torpedoes. Oh. All that's left is another Mikasa out in the mid rim. Did I just say that? Torpedoes to port. No. It's going to port. Show. port. Oh. Gunship versus gunship, except my HP is incredibly low. Let's hope I can recover soon. As soon as it recharges. So we got... And I don't get it. another hit, but still. But the point of this video was to show off Mikasa's ability to signal armament. Now, if I only use every other battleship to do that, as soon as I'm skilled enough to use them. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. I actually had a damage module, I never even realized it. Looks like for now I will be able to use the German line, but for now might as well 
make use with the Kohlberg. Unless I think to pre-researching them before, I can just buy them back, so it's not too bad. I still need to research for the MSL. I'm gonna do one battle here with this ship. I call this a gunship, and I like it. I'm gonna call it battle. No, no, no. I'm a little more proud of it for being a somewhat veteran player, so I might as well do random battles. Yeah, see, a lot of people are using the Nassau. Nassau, as I pronounce it. It looks like a very popular ship that people are trying to rank up ASAP. We'll see how it turns out against a fleet of Nassau. Oh boy. General quarters indeed. Let's get this show on the road and rush into enemy territory and we're all get shot very easily. Yes, yeah, so many people are using it. Well, it does have a lot of good guns. I'll have to do a video on it next week. Hopefully by then I'll have earned a Nasso. Shikuma detected. I'm gonna get this show on the road. Another Nasso. Out of St. Louis. So they're shooting at me. They're all outside fire range. I'll expect the mess up as well. Try to hit that ship. St. Louis and us. Uh, Line of blood. Yeah, I think I know line of blood. That's actually no, oh, I'm fighting it at this time. Things just by rushing in. Why do I always do this? Oh, this bad boy was right here. And it looks like I have to get a shot. Territory. Oh, forget to sneak in. Now just try to sink. I'm about to die. Might as well do the manliest thing ever. If I can do it in time, I'm not gonna make it on my. out on me so that was this video uh, if you like to like to rate subscribe and hopefully I will have earned Inasu by next game my last video has been a bit late so please I'm still working things out I'm still having a few timing issues so thank you for enjoying this video and this is NA2 signing out